Week 4, Behavior Modification and Overcoming Barriers to Exercise. Now that we understand the basic components of exercise, this week we'll go over how to make behavior changes and overcoming barriers to exercise. Here we will find examples of simple steps to make in our daily life to become more physically active with the goal of gaining optimal health benefits. If you're currently not thinking about exercising, consider these three steps to help set the stage for a healthy behavior change. First, think about the benefits that you may gain from becoming more active. For example, weight control, increased energy levels, or decreased depression and anxiety. Second, think about what barriers are getting in the way of you becoming more active. Not enough time, no one to exercise with, not sure what to do or where to go. Third, write down some ways that your being inactive is affecting you and those around you. If you're currently beginning to think about exercising on a regular basis, consider these three steps to help set the stage for healthy behavior change. First, learn where you might be able to engage in physical activity or exercise. Check your local fitness centers or take a walk around outside to find a safe place that can be used. Second, write down some barriers that may be preventing you from beginning, from money to time and time to friends. Try to come up with a few solutions and write them down. Third, commit yourself to a brief period of physical activity, like a 10-minute brisk walk, at least once over the next week. If you're currently doing some physical activity or exercise, consider these three steps to help set the stage for healthy behavior change, moving into a regular routine of exercise. First, look at what your current physical activity routine is and plan to replace 15 minutes of inactivity, for example, watching TV, with a physical activity, like walking. Second, think of ways to remind yourself to be more active during the week. Put reminders in your calendar or school planner, or use post-its for your door or fridge, or consider asking a friend to exercise with you. Third, commit yourself to increasing your daily activity at least five minutes each day for the next week. When considering barriers that currently prevent you from engaging in physical activity or exercising on a regular basis, consider these four questions. One. Why do I really want to change the behavior, and what are the benefits? 2. Why shouldn't I try to change the behavior? What are the challenges? 3. Do the benefits outweigh the challenges? And 4. What would it take to change the behavior and overcome the challenges? What is the strategy? To make a behavior change, the benefits must outweigh the challenges, and a realistic strategy must be in place to meet and overcome the challenges. After considering these behavior changes and barriers, remember to stay positive and set realistic and attainable goals. Long-term goals are needed, but short-term goals allow for progress to be made in the near future. This concludes the week four. Thank you and please remember to fill out the follow-up survey using the link emailed to you.